All right, I'm the Peanut Butter Ninja. You're the Jam Squad. Welcome to the video on this exciting day. Plants vs. Zombies Battle for the Neighborville is out now. Get it for $30 in the PlayStation or Xbox store or even on the uh, PC store, I'm sure. So, very exciting. I'll let people get in here before I go into the game. So, very exciting. This is something like, uh, this is something like, um, Apex did. Apex Legends just dropped out of nowhere, and so did this game. So, the Founders Pack is $30, and you can get it right now and start playing, which is cool. And the game officially comes out on October 18th. And um, that's going to be 40 bucks. But the good news is that it will carry over. So this is the real game. So everything you do in this game will carry over to October 18th. So it's important that you know that. So 30 bucks, Founders Pack. And what you do is you get to play early. And what you get to do is to talk to the developers, let them know what needs buffed, what needs nerfed, what's what's glitching, what sucks, and things like that. So a little Derpy, Peter, Crispy, Bananas, Meep, Chief, Gamer, Audio, Zelenica, 30 bucks, $29.99, let's go. Now watch, you're about to be mind blown. You're going to be mind blown when you see what happens now, my friends. Yes, you get the full game. You get everything. This is the full game. I still can't believe the lettering, though. I cannot believe the lettering. The lettering. Look at that lettering. The lettering does not pop. It is not vibrant. It does not look cool. I am shocked. So the, the game will be 40 bucks, everybody. How do you think about that? I'm sure there was a discussion to make it free to play. But EA said, nah, I think we ought to Custom make them pay something. All right. Options. So, oh, a gift. Week one founder's gift. Let's check it out. Visit Rux now. Okay, we're going to go to Rux. All right. We don't need to do all that because I know what to do. Oh, get mind blown, folks. Get ready to get mind blown. Here's where your mind gets blown when you go into this. Let's see if they did any of my changes because I had some good changes for them. We'll see. That right there, Giddy Park, is a waste of space, and I will show it to you. Are right, you going to want to meet her? You're going to want to talk to her. So, Major Sweetie. If you go in here, you want to talk to her, she's going to send you on some quests to do in the town center. Oh, that one guy. No, you don't have to buy it again. It's a one-time fee. Buy it today through September 30th for 30 bucks, and that's it. You don't have to buy it again. All right, we're going to show you this world. Giddy Park is lame, people. I'll show you how lame Giddy Park is. Hello, Sylvia. Game is out. All right, let's show you some stuff real quick. You have to wait till Christmas. Ah, uh, tell them it's thirty bucks. You don't want to wait for Christmas. All right, so this is okay. So they didn't do what I they didn't do what I suggested. That sucks. 
So when you get in here, what you're going to want to do is stand on here. Now, I told them these signs look cool. They just, they, these signs should stay up the whole time. Like, you should be able to have an option to turn these signs off. But when, once you get off, they're gone. So get back on, and then you'll see. So here's old Rux. Let's just go. Let's just go around real quick, give you a tour. This is Rux's new house. Oh, that's a fancy house, isn't it? So here's Rux. Hello, Rux. Oh, yeah, you do. And what do we do? We've got to come over here. Oh, that's a little sunflower meeting Rux. Alright, let me go talk to Rux, little flower. <laughs> Don't be shy, go talk to Rux. I love it. Um, Rux, you gonna give me my prize? Alright, claim your reward from Rux. Hello, Lucas. Alright, what's the... What, what is that? Alright. I'm trying to get my... Anyway, Rux just not giving me anything. He's supposed to give me my gift, but he's not. Little punk. I'll get it from that little punk someday, sometime. We'll get to the characters in a minute. All right, here's another huge waste of space, let me tell you. So, in this room... So, this room right here, there's a piano. On the ground, you jump on it. All right, it makes noises, right? Well, what if I told you this is all this is? This is all this is. Would you believe it? So this is not a mini game, but I suggested to them. Um, yes, these are people. These are people. So this is a waste of space. It's not even a mini game. It's just an absolute waste. It needs to be turned into a mini game. But right now it's a waste of space. And these are real people that you see. Everybody you see is real. All right. Here's where you go and can change the little character, of course. And this is where you come when you want to rank up your character. Hello, Xminty. So this is where you go when you want to rank up your character. And then, I'll show you that over there real quick. Let me grab this other little flower. They're just telling you what the stuff is. And you get little, you get coins and tacos from just everywhere. Alright, and then um, this thing right here. Let me show you. This is where you go to prestige. Right here. So you come here when you want to prestige your character. Just like in Garden Warfare 2, you get to level 10. And then you can prestige. Alright. And this right here is another waste of space. A huge waste of space. So as you can see, the um, there's no game to this. Like it, like, it just goes up and down, that's it. But it doesn't register any score. It's... Look at this waste of space. It does absolutely nothing. It's not a, it's not a mini game. It's just an absolute waste of space. Go to the PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, to the PC Store, and download it for 30 bucks. All right, and this will be familiar if you play other video games. Let's take a look and show you. 
So, victory slabs. When you kill somebody, you can have different little graphics that you can see. Type in the PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, PC. Type in Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. I promise you it's in there. I guarantee it. So you can change your victory slabs when you unlock them, when you get them. And something else you'll notice that's really cool, I'll show you. A huge, huge, huge upgrade is this right here. You hit, so, see how quick that is? As soon as you hit a button, you do it. There's no more waiting or anything like that. So look at the corn. The corn needs more detail, in my opinion. He needs way more detail. There's your little, everybody's happy. There's your mushroom. There's your mushroom. There's your little snapdragon. There's your cactus. Needs more work. Citron, your acorn, and oak. There's your sunflower. And the rose. Look at that rose. That rose needs more definition. 30 bucks. $30. All right, let's be the little mushroom running around. Oh, oh yeah, I got to show you something else real quick, too. All right, so then you come over here. And this person will take you somewhere to town center. The town center is awesome, but let's not go there right now. We did not get to test this in the alpha. So I'm interested in seeing what that is for sure. And let's go over here real quick. All right, come here, little sunflower. All right, everybody can sprint also, by the way. Right, that's where you switch from zombies to plants right there. And they do still have the globe, so you still have a globe. You can do private. You can do public. Turn AI on. Do. And for multiplayer, you got to come to this portal... Let's see what they got available right now. So all they have is Turf Takeover right now. Interesting. So you go hit that, then you go through that portal right there. It's going to take you to the Turf Takeover. Now here is where the big insult is. This is the lamest thing in the world. Alright, Giddy Park. When you look at it, you think to yourself, Oh, this is so cool. I'm coming over here. Yay. Well, there's nothing to do here but to shoot AI and other humans. The coolest thing to do in here is to ride a platform and shoot targets as you go through the park. And that would be the coolest thing you can do right now. There no, there's no mini games. There's no activities. And I told them you need to add carnival mini games, a haunted tent, and um, so this is what you would do. This is the only thing you could do in this whole thing for this. So this is it. This is the this is the coolest thing you can do back here. Uh, no, the variants are not in here now, but um, characters should be coming as time goes by for sure and then I suggested uh, go-karts I suggested an arcade but right now when you come down here this is it all this stuff and hitting targets does like that's nothing and you can jump on that ferris wheel but you just stand there and that's it so you can't even ride the uh, little thing right there. There's nothing to ride on that. And so you can just shoot little computer little computer players. You can shoot human players. And this is what you do in Giddy Park. Isn't that exciting? How excited are you to come to Giddy Park every day and do this? Ha 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 ha. So this is lame as can be. Oh, it's a full release. It's a full release. And 
and this is it. But they got to make upgrades to this. They have to, because this is not going to work out. And so anyway, um, this is what this is. So until they add um, all kind of stuff, this will be a place you don't even want to bother to go. Hello, Superior. No, this is the... So you can buy the full game, well, what they call the full game, Founders Pack, Founders Edition today. And then when you want to go home, just hit this button and warp home. And what you... So what you're doing is you're, you're being able to play the game now. And then you get to talk to... Uh, you get to tell everybody that, hey... I don't want to, uh, what, what's wrong, what needs to be buffed, what needs to be nerfed, this and that. I'm going to go talk to this. Hello, gamer. <laughs> All right, so you got to go down here and vanquish the zombie. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. See this? You hit right on the D-pad, and then you have your gestures. So right on... So you got gestures... And then you got little things you can say. And then you got more things you can say. Then you got more things you can say. Then you got stickers you can do. Uh, so that's cool. So now you could have way more gestures to pick from. Alright, we gotta find a zombie to shoot though. Yeah, Rux has his own house now. Rux has a permanent location. <laughs> Cauliflower. I gotta go look for a zombie real quick. If I can find a zombie. Find a zombie. Oh, that could be an arcade room. You know, usually in the alpha, there were tons of uh, zombies all around. I don't know where the zombies are. up there Get up there little ninja oh. 
All right. There's something up there. I want to go up there. Oh, no, that was just this. Never mind. Oh, something else about these characters is, um... Uh, let me show you what you got. So this game is kind of like other games where um, from now on, you have upgrades to do. So as you play this game, you'll unlock different upgrades. And each upgrade costs a different amount of points. You get seven skill points. So you get seven skill points to use. And then, so they have like three slots for three different version of, versions of your character. And you can see how each of these little things do different things. So you can get like level up quicker, get this little vampire thing, get more health, become speedy. So that would be six. And then so like that. And so now... He's got skills equipped. And whenever you see add upgrades, that reminds you that you didn't put any skills towards the character. And then this right here, there's no sticker shop. This is where you go to buy things. 30,000 coins. And it could be anything. You could get the you could get a legendary item, you could get something not good at all. So Alright, I still Rux owes me a gift, but I can't get it. Don't be shy, go talk to Rux. Well I'm gonna go talk to him. There we go. Years of Defiance. Fire goggles. So this is all for the Snapdragon, I take it. Oh, so he's like a little fireman. Hello, Julie. Darwin. <laughs> make Garden Warfare 2. Yeah, I'll make I'll make a Rux Garden Warfare 2. Alright, so there's your soldier. There's your imp. And uh super brains. And this is the overpowered. Hopefully they nerfed that guy. And you got this little girl and uh, you got the pirate. All star, your little space coaster. But what's cool is, now let me show you what's cool. Um, all the characters are, um, they're all different now. Hello, Nugget. Hello, Death, Deathification. All right, now check this out. Check this out. Look at that. That's a shield. Check it out. So that's a protective shield that the All-Star has. Now, how do you like that? But you can shoot the shield down, so no fear. And then that's his L1. He actually kicks that punt. Actually kicks that out. And that's his little um, tackle. And now the zombies, they have a little... They have something that's better, so... Now look at that mech suit. So you can change your mech suit too. You can you can change how your mech suit looks. Um, but this thing is actually a little mini game. Hello, Llama. Go to the PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, PC Store. Thirty bucks, Founders Edition, and then everything carries over through September 30th, and then October 18th. The game comes out for 40 bucks, but um, I see your, well, can I, can I leave? I think I'm glitched. I think I'm glitched. 
Oops. And I gotta respawn. So, hello, Orange. And, um, everything you get to... You, it carries over. Oh man, I can't even do anything. I gotta, I gotta actually leave. Hello, Ice P. I don't know what the uh, Discord is for the game. Um, it's on the, uh, it's on the website. So every character can sprint. Uh, it's only one person can play at a time. And all this is, is whenever you see a light on that board, it reflects on the ground. And so you don't want to step on it. And so this is actually a little mini game. So whatever you see light up on that screen, you, you don't want to be standing on it. So that's going to light up over there. And that lights up over there. That lights up in front of me. Move off that. And as time goes by, it will get harder and harder. It'll move faster and faster. There will be more things to pick. And you can play with your friends to see who can last the longest. So it's actually a little mini game that you actually can do. And see the scientist already died. You gotta be ready to move, too. Oh, ooh, tricked me. I just like to stay in the middle, personally. Oh, ooh, too slow. Oh, so you actually get dance hall results. How cool is that? So this guy, if you hold on R2, he charges his shot. And that's powerful. Then R1, little rocket launcher. And then he can hop on this rocket launcher and start shooting you. So he's really OP. So they have their own little places they can go to also. Just like the plants do. But like, you know, I don't think they have, but they don't have like a somebody they talk to. You know, like when you're a plant, you talk to the sunflower. Well, they don't have anyone to talk to. You want to see the engineer sprint? You know who's got the most funniest sprint is the corn. Where is the engineer? There he is. Hello, me. Yeah, you. everything you do in this game will carry over to October 18th. Well, he, he likes to sprint on his jackhammer. Because he has different abilities now. So, like, L1. Look at that. See how that throws those little things out? So, that's his L1. And then his triangle, he actually can set his turret down. So, that will shoot people automatically. Um, go to the Xbox store and uh, type it in. Type type in Plants for Zombies. And this is a speed boost pad. So any zombie on your team can touch this and they'll go faster than they even normally do. So it's kind of like the goat ability. She shoots like a uh, little electric electricity. And she's got that she can throw at you. And then that's like the uh, kind of like the uh, scientist that little thing. And then it could do that little thing. So she's not bad. Um, 
not a bad little character. So it's the same thing for the zombies, except they don't have a sunflower to tell them to do quests. Hello, noob. But anyway, um... So the big thing, though... is to uh, make sure you do your upgrades and you unlock upgrades as you play. All right, we'll go to a turf takeover. But town center is where it's at though. Uh, no drone for the engineer. Uh, no variants as of right now. But there will be new characters being released, though. Yeah, you gotta believe that PopCap will release some variants. You gotta believe. Come here, you little mushroom. Now, um, when you die in Turf Takeover, you have to sprint a long way back. And station around the map, they'll actually have a hill station. And so, with these things, you don't get these in packs anymore. So, these are, these are always here. And once you pick one... You can't you can't pick another one of those until a certain time. Ooh, got the little oak. So with the oak, the oak in the uh That's his triangle. And then if anybody steps in my ball, my little uh, thing right here, they would die. And then R1 is where you can go like invisible. No, like, you don't have to buy it again. Once you buy it, once you buy it for 30 bucks, you don't have to buy it on October 18th. But you have until September 30th to buy it for 30. If you wait till after September 30th, you're going to buy it for 40. So, it would it makes all the sense in the world to buy it for 30. And everything you do carries over also. So it's not like you're going to play this game until October 18th and then everything will, like, uh, disappear. So everything you do will carry over. So you're actually playing the game and you're doing things. Ooh, watch out for that. So in each turf takeover game you play, there's something new to do. Like there's there's always some ty type of activity to do in turf takeover. So like it could be capture this place, it could be do this mini game. Um, so it's always something different though. Um, when, whenever you play a turf takeover. Game.
I don't know how long we gotta keep this, but... Oh, we gotta capture it. We need a sunflower bad. Oh, is that a tomato? Oh, look at that. Look at that little tomato. That looks like a tomato. Hello, little tomato. Um, I don't know the total number, but there are quite a bit of maps. Look at these little ugly little yellow things. Look at her face. Watch his face. Look at his face. A little ugly face. Is this a chest? In the, in the town center, there's like chests and things everywhere in the town center. Well, shouldn't have did that, but oh well. Ha, <laughs> King Tomato. Hello, Red Flame. Um, usually, on these maps, there are areas with uh, healing stations. Because when you die, you have to uh, travel. Travel a good distance to get back. Especially if you get farther and farther and farther down there. But you can see that the maps are big. There's plenty of routes for you to take on the maps. That could be an acorn after when I next time I die, it'd be an acorn. gotta add new characters they have to because you can't go on with just 20 characters all right first we gotta get those upgrades um and also you unlock upgrades as you go uh 30 bucks team lightning $29.99 and that's a one-time fee to have the game one-time fee once you pay this $29.99 you'll never have to pay it again now you see how you can hop on top of here Triangle just to jump off. And if you ride, like, so if you're an acorn, and if this acorn dies, I will die with it automatically. But triangle is a way to escape. And you can have multiple acorns on here. Like, we can get a whole bunch of more acorns on top of us. I gotta, I gotta monitor that health on that oak tree. And each of the characters do do abilities also. So like even the the uh, characters you're familiar with, they will do new. Um, they do new abilities. Um, yes, came out today. Early access came out today. They showed the trailer and then they surprised the world. 
a little legendary. No variants as of today. But you got to believe as time goes by, they'll be releasing more characters. You got to believe that. Because PopCap can't be that crazy. It just can't be. running. That's how the corn runs. It's hilarious. Right, I got two. I got another acorn on my head. And that acorn right there can join us if it wanted to. Yeah, there's no sticker packs. There's um, no um, there's no uh, quest board. There's no sticker shop. There's no sticker packs. Um, there's no town hall. There's no personal backyard. Kill Samaya, I think kill Samaya with a log. You can believe that. Man, where am I getting shot from? Uh, with coins, you buy rewards from the reward Otron. And the bet, and when you go to the uh, the the social hub, you'll see the reward Otron, and that's where you can spend your gold coins. And also, when you go to the town center. In the town center, you do things for gold coins and for tacos. And gold tacos, um, not gold tacos, but tacos, you use those to unlock things like maps and stuff. Yeah, it's a steep price. Uh, for 30,000 coins, you can get anything from something very lame to a legendary hat. So... But anyway, we need to push this payload. See how many people they got on their little coaster? It's going to be tough. Uh, Snapdragon? Yes, I can. First, let me get some abilities. Alright. Uh, get that. Get that. Oh, yeah, um, fo so decorations go to respawn. Let me put on his little decorations he has. Alright, um, 
No, where's the... Uh, oh, square. Alright. Take that. Yeah, you'll get this if you uh, buy the Founders Pack. Stuff like this. So this is a fire truck guy. Yeah, this game is going to be really good. Um, they're going to... I'm sure they'll make the necessary additions. I'm sure they'll add the characters. And, um... But I don't, I don't think the game is going to turn out like they hope. Because I don't think... Hello, Charles. Um, I don't think that people will play this game like they want people to play. Uh, oh, Objective Master. Well, I'm going to win Objective Master every time I play. Because if you know me, I'm all about the objective. That's all I care about. Tell me the objective, and I'm going to it. Well, Red Flame, I'm going to show you something really fun. I'll show you something really fun. I'll show you the best part about this game so that I know of. Uh, x Minty, you're in coins um, the same kind of way, but, it, but uh, also... And a lot, of, I, I gotta go to the town center because I gotta show you guys the, uh, I gotta show you that the town center. Because you'll see more, uh, more things with that. And you unlock more skills to use. You'll never unlock more skill points to use. You'll always have seven skill points. But you can unlock more um so if i charge a shot i'm gonna see what happens all i gotta do is find a little plant though you know it's kind of difficult sometimes to see like who is the enemy Oh, they kind of nerfed that that shot. Yeah, that so they did nerf that one shot. It looks like to me because that one shot was like automatic death. Hello, oof, goof. Now, the way some of these guys run is hilarious. Ow. Hey, play a little A-team, A-team music. Oh, yeah, his single shot got nerfed big time. Hello, Shane. Hello, Deadly Ghost. Well, this guy got nerfed like he should have. Um, this guy got nerfed for sure because his single shot would have killed everybody real quick. So, but that, but they had to nerf him though because that was just uh, that would have been too much. So. You can't complain about him getting nerfed. And Space Cadet, um, she can form with other Space Cadets. And you guys can, I think, I don't know if it's like four or five. Whenever a Night Shadow puts that right there, don't go inside of it. Right now I'm joined up with these guys. Oh, I can put up a shield. 
Oh, I got, so you got abilities you can do. That's nice. Oh, that's cool. So shield is L1. And they have to break down that shield. And then R2 is to shoot. And then I go down with the uh, ship. I don't mind. Um, hello, Samantha. Hello, Havoc. No, uh, Night Shadow's bubble, what, Night Sh what, what that little mushroom's bubble does is if you step inside that bubble, it's going to slow you down, and it's going to put you in a bad position with the Night Shadow. So that's all that is. Just don't, just don't step in a circle, that's all, that little dome. Right, let's form up. And I think like four or five people could join us, I think. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, that little log does a little bit of damage. So anyway, it's PopCap's hope. It's PopCap's hope that people play this game like they play Overwatch. With team composition at the forefront. They're hoping that that people will play with the uh, with the team in mind, and I say to that, good luck. Good luck getting play this, the players on this game to use their brain and do team composition to try to win games. I think that's wishful thinking on Popcap's part. Exactly, but there will, but I mean, there will, there will be some people that play it like that. You'll find, you'll find player, you'll find a bunch of friends that will play it like that. But overall, the mass majority will not play it like that. They'll just play it like they play any other, any other turf takeover. Alright, and so one of the turf takeovers, um, turn takeover has something, uh, one of the, one of the pl maps you play, you'll be playing, and they're gonna throw pancake mix on top of you. So, like, you could be hit by pancake mix. Oh, you know what, that L1, I gotta do that on top of somebody. Ooh, our one's a little laser. Ooh. Well, Red Flame, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you a place that's really cool that you'll that you'll you should like. I'll show you. I'll, I'll finish this game. Then I'm then we'll go to the town center. And I'm gonna, the town center is is a place that's uh, you, uh, you you should enjoy. It. There's uh, I'll show you town center. Town center has uh, all kind of quests, bosses. Uh, and uh, some, like they have like a final boss on there that is um, the disco boss like you go through these quests with you can play it with friends also or strangers and then there's different bosses as you go through the quest it's like it's like a co-op story mode and then the disco zombie, he has a lair, and inside he has a club, and he has these, uh, I'll upload the video, because I got that on video, and I'll just upload, I'll show it to you. Alright, Deadly Ghost. And 
then, um, and also there's golden gnomes, there's crystal gnomes, and, um, let's go and let me show you. No, oh. the um, yeah, but he can be tough. He can be tough. Well, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna show you that I never been to the. They didn't have the zombies town center, so that's gonna be new to me. But on this one, you want to go as a sunflower. I would like doing these quests. It would be in your best interest to be a, to have a sunflower for sure. And I wish I could have kept, um, and also, hello, Hake. No, this is the real game. You can buy it now. All right, so you can actually buy colors in this game. So, like, one of the, one of the rewards is, like, one of the, uh, Thalo Wave Gaming, one of the things you can get is a color. So, you can get, like, hot pink. And then, um, and your whole sunflower will be hot pink. Or you can get an all-star be purple, and you could have that be all purple. So it's really cool. You can get a legendary item, but here's where you spend your coins at. <clears throat> yep, right now. <clears throat> Come on, little sunflower. Nice. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> right now is like where you can like test the game. I <clears throat> got something else for me, Rooks. Um, physical copy, um, I can't verify that. I know it's in the uh, PlayStation and Xbox and PC. Now here's somewhere to go that's cool. Now this, this will keep you entertained for, for about a week or less. I'll, I'll play Engineer Deadly Ghost. I'll play it, but uh, right now, let's do this. Huh, that's the same, um, same little rewards as in the alpha. Hello, Apple Juice. Um, go to the PlayStation <clears throat> Store, Xbox Store, the PC Store, $29.99. And October 18th, the game will come out for 40 bucks. But if you buy it for 30, you don't have to pay 40. You don't have to pay anything. So you buy the game today, <clears throat> you're good to go. It's yours. You don't have to spend another penny. Well. A lot of people want sticker packs back, so I'm sure if you share your opinion, and there's chests all around this, this town center, so grab those chests, and I'll show you this, see I got a taco, let me show you, this is a taco guy right here, Sergeant Peel. All right, so with your tacos, you can buy maps, and the maps will tell you the locations of 
golden gnomes and crystal gnomes. And then eventually you can get the uh, customizations. And there's even a little uh, slab you can get. All right, so this is the lady you want to talk to. Now, I wouldn't advise doing these by yourself. Hello, Omar. I wouldn't advise doing these by yourself because uh, they can be difficult. And um, you do have a little map that you can use. All right, so as you do these quests, oh yeah, these things right here, and this will actually rank you up and give you coins. So come right here and uh, put these down. And then eventually you're gonna get a lawnmower. Oh, uh, check out, and now let me tell you, these little zombies out here will kill you. They shoot. Like they're very brutal. Look at this guy with a TV head. He'll shoot you. And then spread around the map are these little trapped little uh, zombies. I mean, plants. And see, when you hit L1, that gives a uh, little heal to everybody. Hello, Lily. Mm. Oh, yeah, the zombies, they, they do a lot of damage. All right, and then, um, so, and they're everywhere, so that's why you want to do this with people. You want, like, you don't want to do this by yourself because you can make it a lot tougher than it has to be. But when you vanquish them, you do get coins and tacos. Uh, the very you gotta believe the variants will come. Yeah, these little zombies are bad little zombies. And this guy, you would run over with a lawnmower. Hello, Nick Plays. It's out. Hello, Dark Zoid. Well, um, there needs to be crossplay, desperately so. Well, there's a good, there's a chance that all of them could come back. I mean, oh, there's a little lawnmower right there. Oh, they changed that. Um, you couldn't get a lawnmower like this last time. Oh, no, no never mind, never mind, because that's going to lead me to where I need to go. No. Um, but eventually, you're going to unlock a lawnmower on a remote control. And then the uh, remote control lawnmower is going to run over them robots.
Help me, little snap dragon. So anyway, you follow this little guy. And then the zombies will try to stop you, of course. Uh, they got nothing better to do. Once again, it would, it would, you don't want to do this by yourself. Like, it'd be, it'd be really a lot better if you have friends. And definitely pick up the tacos and pick up the uh, coins. Hello, Thomas. I don't know, Havoc. Yeah, every character's been changed in different ways. Zombies there are like you just gotta deal with so many zombies and um, Like it really doesn't scale down to if you're by yourself which sucks Yeah, there's golden gnomes, there's crystal gnomes. And the cool thing too is when you um when you're playing, if you ever go in the area of a golden gnome, it will let you know that you're by a golden gnome. I'm not hitting them, but See, these little zombies, they love to shoot you. And uh, they can kill you. I mean, if you don't deal with them, they'll kill you. It's crazy. problem with the switch that you have to do a lot of work because you have to um, it's because you gotta um, go through hassles and you gotta lower the graphics and then you gotta lower this and that and to them it they don't think they would sell enough to make it worth it all right derpy I'll show you how worthless that thing is All right, so anyway, um, you just go and do these different quests, but like I said, it's way better to do this with people because you're going to come across some, uh, especially the Von Bats. Von Bats takes forever to kill. Uh, the game is out right now. You can get the Founders Edition right now as we speak. Yes, go karts, bowling alley. So here's, so the butter barrage was replaced. Look how this guy runs. Look how he runs. You're either gonna think that's funny or you're gonna hate it. But let me show you this sonar that's just so terrible. So watch this. Wow, that was like, I mean, that's such a great ability. 
Uh, it was such a great ability, I didn't even notice it. And then, yeah, he still has his shuck shot. That's how that goes. Still got his triangle. That's how that goes. But watch this. Um, so, yeah, that sonar is just really awesome. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the butter barrage needs to come back in a big way. In a big, 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 big way. Um, alright, so you have until September 30th to get the Founders Edition for 30 bucks. After that, the game will come out October 18th for 40 bucks. If you buy the $30 Founders Edition, you have the game, that's it, that's all. You don't have to buy anything else. That's all you need. And I did not get to go here during the beta. I mean the alpha. I didn't get to go here, so I want to go here. Ah, uh, unavailable. Well, that that sucks. That really sucks. No, look out. All right, go up here. No, oh, you want me to go in a private lobby? All right, here we go. Hello, Mark. Um, a JoJo hat. All right, where, I know there's a, uh, you say you're on here? Where you at, Derpy? Oh, you can go to Garden Ops. That's unlocked. Oh, I'm going. I didn't think oh, I, I didn't think that would be open. Um, well, if I if I'm in a private lobby, then I won't be able to play with anybody. Um, I won't be able to play with anybody on Ops mode. So I gotta go back. Oh, so we can play Ops Mode. Okay, we're going to Ops Mode. I can't wait to see this. We didn't get to test Ops Mode in the Alpha. But, and to go to Ops Mode, you have to go to Giddy Park. I mean, uh, Town Center. I'm sorry. You got to go back to the Town Center. And it's going to be located in a building. Now the way they have ops, I would change it because I don't think you should have to go to the town center and then have to go to this building to, cause really, um, unless they changed it, like you would never know there was an ops mode un until you discovered it. Now, during the Alpha, Garden Ops was located in this building 
in the town center. And I hope that, uh, let's see. I think it was this thing. I think it was here. I want to say it was there. And you see the compass right there in the top of the screen. Um, as long as you're going where the compass is pointing up, then you know you're kind of going the right way. So we got to get through here. Um, watch out, zombies, or I'll hit you with my sonar. Oh, you know what? They might have changed that sonar because they might have found out it wasn't no good. Let me see. Nope. Not so much. Ow, ow. Look how, look how powerful they are. Damn, the zombies are no joke. Hello, frantic. Oh gosh, I gotta get away. Go this way. There's just zombies everywhere. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's a cool little gesture right there. Alright, we did not get to play Ops Mode in the Alpha, so this, this is going to be cool. How do you buy the game? Go to the PlayStation Store or Xbox Store. Oh, so it's kind of like a wave-based thing. Interesting. So I take it we got to protect that. So, it'd be nice if you get people to join you somehow. Join Derpy. Cool little statue. A little crab statue. Knockout bonus. All right. So I'm gonna put a sunflower back here. Yeah. 
All right, now, what are these? Uh, I take it the exclamation point is where the zombies are coming from. If I had to guess. to the fifth wave and uh, I want to see what happens on the fifth wave and then um, and then I'll be I'll be good enough surprise they still got the same music I would have thought they would have moved to different music. Good as Garden Warfare 2. Yeah, they didn't make a new soundtrack. They just copied and pasted the soundtrack. That maybe that's why the game's gonna be 40 30 bucks. Maybe that's why the game will be 30 bucks or 40 bucks if you don't want to get it before September 30th, which I don't know why you wouldn't. So you get to save 20 bucks because there's no soundtrack. And, um, and I tell you what, um, the game should have been free to play if they're not going to put over 100 characters in the game. Speed run. Somebody join me. Oh, Stoby, Stoby one. Stoby one's here. All right. I didn't even put upgrades for my corn either. I don't have any skills equipped. Hello, Lewis. Well, you can buy the game right now for 30 bucks. And you never have to you never have to spend any more money again. Get the Founders Edition for 30 bucks. Now we're on garden ops mode. And they got the other. He can actually shoot now. You see that? He actually shoots now. See how he can, he can do damage? That's an upgrade. <laughs> Hello, Mark M. So now, instead of the zombies just holding a gun, they actually can shoot the gun. So that's uh, that's an improvement. Oh, 
I wonder if you can... No, you can't. I still wish you could switch characters while you play Garden Ops. Oh, yeah, they can. They will shoot you now. Yeah, the zombies are out to get you and they're armed and ready. Next wave, fifth wave, should be a boss wave. I want to see what boss they are. Oh, you know, I'm not even sure if they put a new boss in the game. <laughs> Found a diamond gnome. Uh, yes, PS4. Oh, alright, we got a little different animated thing. Alright. Well, tell me we get all, we get, well, we get three bosses, is that what they're doing? Let's see if the disco guy still sucks or not. Ooh. Oh, you done killed my sunflower again? He doesn't even put out his disco disco guys. Man, I gotta wait for three minutes to man, that's a long time to wait for a sunflower. Yeah, it does, but uh Well he needed well the disco needed something because he really sucked. You know, the, the sonar, I don't know if, like, people are in your sonar. If that means that you can do more damage to them. I don't know if that's what's going on. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa, we get three bosses. Wow. Wow. We need, we 
need a sunflower. Ah! Old Porta Pie still has plenty of health. Odd house. Maybe even more health. Disco, Sensei, and Von Bass. How you like that? Look how, I mean, not, not Von Bats, I mean the uh, Kung Fu Duelist, he's bigger. Look how big he's, like, he's much bigger now. Oh, we need help. We need backup. Anonymous pug. Hello, Bond Time Freddy. Um, I didn't select the dip uh I didn't get to select the difficulty. So um like you go up to the guy and I think this was a quest to do. And I, I'm not even, like, I would assume that Ops would be something you can play anytime you want, like you regularly could. But this was kind of like a little quest, I think, so it took me through five waves. That was something, Stoby One. Um, I don't think they got a physical release right now. No, look at this. So you got a little gargantuan over here. Tell you what you need. We need a sunflower. The gum. Nightcap. I'll show you nightcap. Killed me. Disco mini game. Bongo. No range renegades. Ow, oh, they're killing me. Little punks. Oh, 
Corn ability. I what? I just was the corn. I just was the corn. I'll show you the corn. Oh, you know what you couldn't do? Corn. I got some upgrades. Alright. Here's the corn. The corn has the, uh, only thing different. Where are all these corns coming from? Where is that coming from? I'm getting tore up from somewhere. I don't even know where. I don't know who that was. Uh, so the only thing different the corn does is, um, his sonar, which, which, um, I still don't know what it does, really. I'll show you. Uh, it doesn't look anything cool, though, just so you know. So there's the sonar. You don't, you don't see anything. I gotta get that over there. And then his, uh, he still has his shuck shot. So you still got a shuck shot. You got your husk cop. Uh, no, I haven't experienced no frame drops. So once again, there's the sonar. Can't tell you what it does. And apparently we're killing people and getting this is like some kind of some kind of quest thing. And we're with a bunch of corns. There's your R1. There's your triangle. There's your sonar. And these zombies, they got some power. How many maps total? I don't know. I don't know how many. I don't know how many maps total there is. You have to go through Turf Takeover and count them. But that would take, I don't know how long. There's, there's, uh, there's least, I don't know, man. Like, there's got to be more than five maps. All right, I don't, oh, we're playing up to 50. So it's corns, it's us and corns versus zombies, and it's a race to 50. Giddy Park is, but you don't want to go there. You don't want to waste your time at Giddy Park. Uh, 
Uh, well, you gotta be a plant on this one. Uh, I'll show you what the rose. The rose has a cool. I'll show you this ability the rose can do. I'll show you what this rose. Up, oh, it's over. But anyway, she could do something cool. Ah, uh, Giddy Park sucks, and I'll sh I I'll show you Giddy Park. I showed Giddy Park early on, and I'll show you. So one thing, like this corn, I mean this sunflower. Watch this. Uh, so that's a little goat. And then Triangle does. Uh, watch this R1. See that? And that's kind of like a little shield. All right, but let's go back to Giddy Park. I'll show you where you go when you log into the game. So that's Giddy Park, but it's a place of absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, so uh, when, you, when you first log in, you come here, and then you can stand on this platform, and there's your, where you get your little, uh, you can spend your gold coins, there's Rux, multiplayer. Um, you can't go to little Steamy, so that sucks. Oh, I think they might have got something legendary. They look at that, they got a legendary hat. Nice. So you can see what people get. So that's that's cool. Hopefully, I get something legendary. And look at that. That's what you can get. So that sucks. But you gotta try again. Well, so there's a color that that's I was talking about. So that's cool. All right, let's go ahead and change his color. So now that's cool. That's a nice addition where you can change the colors of the people. So that's cool. So now he's a purple guy. And um, I wish you could go here, but you can't yet. So that will be on later on, because I'm really interested in that. And then the battle arena is not available right now. But here's the uh, Giddy Park, and Giddy Park is a big waste of space. But I've told them many, many times. I told them many, many times to add go karts, add an arcade, add mini games. Oh, that hat is cool. Look at that hat. That hat is cool. Is that legendary or just special? Is that, is that a legendary hat? I love that hat. That hat is cool. But anyway, um, when you come here, you don't do anything, but um, you can shoot computer players. Oh, well, let's kill. We got to find a zombie and see what that hat does. So there's no mini games to play. Like there's no arcade room. I told them make an arcade room, but you can't play anything. So we got to try to find a zombie for you to kill. Um, but let me be a zombie so you can, um, so you can kill me. Let me see that hat. Uh, 
Oh, when you revive someone. Oh, interesting. How do you change the... Oh, the Z-Mech? Come here. And then, um, see right here? But you have to unlock new options, though. Hello, Brian. But... But you have to unlock different options for his to make that mech suit look cooler. So you go square, customize, go there. Um, but um, you have to unlock stuff, though. Nope, no variants yet, um, but you can have hope that they will. So Giddy Park, though, that place needs go-karts, an arcade, a haunted tent, mini carnival games. Um, there, so there's still some improvements that need to be made, no doubt about it. Um, but we can go to... Go. Right now, they only have Turf Takeover, which, and that's interesting. It's pretty interesting. I don't know why they don't have uh, other game modes available. Yeah, they do, Mark. You can find Golden Gnomes in the town center. And not only that, they have a map. You can buy a map with tacos, and you can find the Golden Gnomes, and there's Crystal Gnomes. Oh, the Citron is pretty different than what he normally is. Uh, you can play. I think you have to be online, maybe. But you can play in a private server. Um, and all that. Alright, so this game is either ending or starting. Well, first, we're going to be a little zombie. All right, you. Know, I'll show you the engineer real quick. Show you with this guy. I don't know. The engineer could look better to me. He doesn't look too good. It's not looking too good to me. Hello, alien. Uh, yeah. Like, every character can do something different now. And every character can sprint. Every character can do something different. And I believe this is the one that... No, this is the one where you gotta go to these tall nuts. And look at this little go-kart track. You know, you can even, it'd be cool if you could even get on these and go around this little track. But, that's just not the case. Oh, it's a chomper. Alright, so this turret is automatic. It shoots automatic. You don't have to do anything. 
And this is a little speed boost thing you can get on. And then you want to get out of this circle as soon as you can. And I keep thinking this guy's automatic when he's not. The map, these, these maps are big. They're big, big, big maps with plenty of routes for you to take. So. But to me, the shooting, the shooting still is not, it just doesn't seem as smooth as, uh, as Garden Warfare 2. That sunflower was crazy. Um, and you can see the more, see how they got more detail on it. See how they like trucks. See how that. Like they, uh, and also sometimes you can see a human inside these houses. Like, uh, I think Justin, I think Justin put himself in that one house. That's a quest. Ooh, they got me. No, you cannot sprint. You cannot sprint and shoot at the same time. That'd be uh, that'd be too much. So I'll show you the scientist. The scientist, he heals like he does different things now. So I'll show you. Right, that's how he runs. All right, so you can still revive people. But then, what does he do? Um, I think he, like, throws his healing, like, he like a, like a healing spray. So that's kind of... And then triangle is, um... I don't, I don't like the, that healing spray thing. I don't like that. Yeah, so I don't think the Citron, I don't think this guy has a heal beam. Like, I don't think he has a heal beam. Um, the L3 button on the controller. Press that down. Yeah, well, there's no sticky grenade. So you're not running around using sticky grenades. Um, so. Yeah, just click down that L3 button on your controller. And then you're going to sprint. So you can unlock shoes you can get shoes to wear so if you got a zombie that's missing a shoe you can unlock a shoe for him 
Like on the engineer, I know they got a um, they got a race car shoe that you can put on. It's pretty cool. As you can see, the maps are huge, and there's there's different routes you can take. So you really don't have to worry about like getting like in a like in a spawn camp situation, unless like you get to the end of their guard, their thing, and then you can get them. But It's better to get this game now for 30 bucks instead of paying 40 on October 18th. So I would suggest if possible for you to get the game for 30 instead of 40. Um, but charging 40 bucks for the game though, um, that's interesting. I like I wonder what that's about. Bucks on October 18th, but you oh look at that look at that look at that pirate you see that pirate He was glowing like a rainbow. Did you see that? Oh, don't tell me that was an outfit Don't tell me that's an outfit because if that's an outfit, that's freaking awesome. disappointed Omar I'm playing the game um little dog step yeah the game is out dog the game is out you can buy it 30 bucks well usually you know you charge 60 bucks for a game so 40 like 30 bucks so you can get it for 30 bucks so I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of concerned about the $30 price point. Um, that does have me a little bit concerned because if the game is 30 bucks, is that your way of saying, hey, the game's 30 bucks, you're not going to get variants? Is that what they're trying to say? Uh, I, I mean, I sure hope not. Uh, there is no torchwood, um, but no, the acorn. I'll show you when I'm a when I'm a, the acorn. He can call the oak tree and he jumps on top of him. So um, and that's when you use them. But uh, you'll see. I'll show you. And you know what? I haven't noticed either. I haven't noticed any bunny hopping. Um, I haven't noticed any bunny hopping pea shooters. 
I don't know if that's not possible in the game or if it is possible. Huh, yeah, the game's, yeah, I don't think anybody would complain about a free game. Get this little mushroom. Uh, Charles, the game is not free to play. It's 30 bucks. So that's 30 bucks for a game, though. That's pretty cheap. That's how you want to think of it, but it's not like. Nah, uh, you'll see. I'll show you. Man, I need another uh, space coaster to jump on top. Oh, well, if it would have been free to play, the game would have had battle passes and um, tons of microtransactions that would have ended up costing you more than 60 bucks. Dang, I don't know how I'm getting killed that quick. I don't know what that is. Yeah, hopefully they don't. Well, we did not make it to the end. And yeah, so everything you do right now will carry over to October 18th. Well, I'm sure EA will add things for sure. I have no doubt that EA will will have things for you to buy. Right, let's see what the next map is. Oh, talking about the cactus. <laughs> the cactus can spin in this can spin and can jump and like can go off the ground for like not very high. And it doesn't and it doesn't even last, so I have no idea what the purpose of it is. Well, yeah, that thirty thousand could be a legendary. Watch this cactus ability. Um, this is an ability that's so useless that I don't understand why they have it, but I'll show it to you. Um. So it's called the Petal Propeller R1. And it says get to high ground, but good luck with that. So I'll show you. So here's R1. Alright. That was it. That was R1. That was it. As quick as it happened, that is one of the most useless abilities in the history of the world once again let me show you this ability now tell me what will you do with this ability but watch this again don't miss it all right here it is don't miss it wow that is an ability that you will never use in your life i mean wh who thought of that like get pop cat pop cat please please pop cat Get rid of that ability. My goodness. That ability is terrible. Uh, 
Um, well, you want to see the acorn. Now, I changed the color of the acorn. He doesn't He doesn't normally come purple, but I got a uh, thing to make him purple. All right, so every character can sprint in the game. So every single character can sp Oh, look at that. What is that? What makes them rainbow glow? What is that? Now watch this. Well, I was going to hop on top of them until I got killed by some. But you can hop on top of um, the oak tree. Watch. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. So I think like four or five acorns can team up together on one, ac on one oak tree. Yeah, they, well, it definitely took a lot of... They took things from Overwatch. There's no doubt about it. And so other acorns can jump on top and start helping also if they wanted to. And also, you could do abilities. But uh, this guy's playing very, very cautious. chance but uh, you can't really get high. you can't even get the high ground it doesn't go that high it, it doesn't even like you couldn't even get on top of that like yeah, I don't know man it's just uh, it's laughable I'll say that all right so at any time I can leave him and triangle calls in my guy well, tell your mom it's 30 bucks. Tell your mom it's better to spend 30 than it is to spend 40. And that will make sense to your mom. Now right, we're just going to go with this little... Uh... Ooh, we try to shoot. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll have to see. I wouldn't hold my breath on that, but we'll see. Because you can take a look at the perks. Um, even though you may not have it, you can still take a look at them. Oh, the Citron. Yeah, he, can, he shoots differently. He does different things. So he's, uh... Like, every character does something different. Um, some things are cool, some things not so much. Where? I don't know where I'm getting shot from. Where is that? Where is that? I don't see. I'm blind. Well, not every turf takeover map has a payload. Um, this one does. they don't have the uh I don't know why they just have turf takeover that's it that you can play that doesn't make sense to me
We need other acorns to get on top. Players on a team? Uh, let's count them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve people. And then, um, um, sadly, they don't have a lot of the stuff available today. I don't know if that will be like, uh, oh man, dang, that mech suit just came down that road, just boom. Uh, 30 bucks. Um, I haven't seen, well, I haven't played anything that I thought was OP. But if you do play somebody that you think is OP, then see if everyone else thinks it too. Constant electrical thing that really hurts. You want to be a snapdragon? Show you this citron, though. Um, there's quest in the town center. See how Citron shoots now? Yes, well, there is a garden ops you can play. Um, I don't know, but when I went to the garden ops, it made me do garden ops as a quest. And so I don't know if, like, the regular garden ops is, is going to be available today. But um, definitely you can play five waves of it. about a boss hunt. Uh, customizations are just customizations. They're not meant to, uh, they're not meant to be a, the, like a variant.
Um, yes, legendary hats are in the game. And you can spend, you spend 30,000 coins. And for 30,000 coins, you can get something worthless. Or you could get a legendary hat and everything in between. And but there's no sticker shop, there's no sticker packs. Um, it's all through the reward Ultron, which is in the, where you first load into the game. You'll see it. Hello, Sooner. Uh, no, this game will be better. Um, didn't you see the trailer? Like, didn't you see the trailer of all the... All the things you'll get to do, all the places? They, they still don't have that them other places unlocked right now, but and then you still got the battle arena mode Hello Nikki Timbo Why are you mad sooner? Well, you have to believe more characters will be coming out in the future. You have to believe that. There's no way they think they can get away with having 20 total characters. There's just no way. Dang! Man, ZPG still will one-hit kill you. Well, tell whoever you need to tell that they can buy the game for 30 bucks because if you wait to buy it, it's going to be 40 bucks. So, 30 bucks is better than 40 bucks. Uh yeah, no new soundtrack. Um they pretty much use the music from the other games, which maybe that's why it's going to be 30 bucks instead of 60. Um, you know, the game's going to be like, so you can get the game for 30 bucks. So maybe that's why it's because they didn't want to work on a soundtrack. But uh, variants have to come. I mean, you gotta have you gotta have more than twenty total characters. I mean, that that just has to happen. There's no way it doesn't happen. They just there's no way. Hello, Keegan. And why don't you have any true friends? What happened, my friend? Loggy Acres. Is this? I think this is where the pancake mix. I think. I think they're gonna shoot pancake mix. All right, go super brains with his little shield. Oh. Middle, so you got so you got the middle school blues. That's what you got. And then um, if you hit right on the D-pad, if you hit right on your D-pad, you have your gestures you can do. Hit X on a gesture. And you can also make them favorites because eventually that whole thing will be lined up with gestures. And then also you can uh, go here and hit stuff. Um, 
you know, say that stuff. And then you got more sayings, and you got statements, and you got little emotes. You can unlock more emotes also. So you just do that. And, um, yeah. Um, uh, Meeper Leaper. Did the Peace Shooter get nerfed? I could not tell you that. I haven't played the Peace Shooter yet, but even if I played the Peace Shooter, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, conquest mode. Well, if we talked about conquest mode, that would be so awesome for the plants and zombies to have tanks and helicopters and large maps with plenty of room. A uh, mushroom that we went invisible. Once you get in that circle, you can't move. Uh, yeah, it's Plants vs. Zombies Battle for the Neighborville. It's out for 30 bucks, Keegan. You can get it for 30 bucks. I'll get you, pea shooter. I want to see how far he runs. <laughs> Shoot! Oh my gosh! Thirty bucks, Keegan. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't think there's a physical copy out right now. Uh, matter of fact, I know there's not. Because this is the Founder Edition. Now, October 18th, you could get a physical copy. So if you want a physical, but who buys physical copies, though? Um, but if you buy it, uh, if you want it digital, you can get it today for 30 the heck is that? Dang, I tell you what, that mushroom is no joke. Now somewhere, there is a hill station on these maps. I just don't know where they're at. Hello, Blue Archer. What are you doing at school? Tell your teacher you gotta get out early. Say Plants vs. Zombies Battle for the Neighborville came out today. For 30 bucks, teacher, I gotta go. What is that that shoots like that? Seriously, what is that? Oh, I know you're shooting. picture of Zomboss. Uh, but you can get the game now, though. You can buy the game and have it now. You don't have to wait till October 18th. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hello, Chisco. Well, Keegan, it's Plants vs. Zombies Battle for the Neighborville. What do you th what do you think it is? What does it look like? You see plants, you see zombies. 
Let me look up. Let me link up with this guy. All right, so now I'm with this guy. And dang. Uh, Joshi, yes, right now I'm playing it. I'm playing the real game. This is Plants for Zombies Battle for the Neighborville. And you can get it for 30 bucks, or you can wait till October 18th and spend 40. So, spend 30 or spend 40? I think you're gonna go with spending 30. Um, beg, borrow, whatever you gotta do to get that 30 bucks. Because you don't want to spend 40 when you can spend 30. Because you can spend 30 bucks on the game and then spend 10 bucks on some snacks. So you can have some snacks while you play. <laughs> uh, I know I was right, Nikki Timbo. I told you a long time ago, Nikki Timbo. I've been telling you October for a long time. Hello, JT. Well, Bond Time Freddy, I know you'd rather spend 40, but that's okay. Yeah, so for 30 bucks, you can download the game, and it's the Founder's Edition, and you can start playing today, and they'll roll things out as we play, and then on October 18th, you know how, well, you know how games do this, you know, there's been plenty of games that have done stuff like this where, you know, that's how games do it now, a lot of games where... You spend money, then you get to play the game early, but then the official release is another day. And so that's really popular to do with games now. Uh, you want me to play as a chomper? Okay, I'll play as a chomper. Goopy Gully. Hello, Biggie Plays, Gary. Well, whatever you got to do to get that 30 bucks, I mean, do something to get it. Whatever it takes. Um, Like, do some kind of... Uh, do some kind of favors for your mom or dad or something. You know, try to... Uh, look out, look out, this guy. Look at that. Look how he moves. Isn't that weird? And you see, it's like a dog. It's like a dog with only two legs. Hello, Joseph. Um, yes, leveling up is the same. And there's your triangle. And then, um, what happened was L1 is different now. I'll show you the L1. So, you see how that goes like that? See how there's multiple? So, chompers are still chompers. Then is R1, though, if you watch this. Got him. Uh, go to the PlayStation Store or Xbox Store on PC Store and buy it right now for 30 bucks. And you can download it. And then when it's ready, play it. 
And um, and then, so when you spend 30 bucks today or any time through September 30th, you don't have to spend any more money. So that's the good news. So it's not like you spend 30 today and then you got to spend 40 on October 18th. When October 18th comes around, you won't have to spend anything. And as you can see, chompers still eat people, and so nothing has changed as far as that's concerned. Uh, yes, the the official release date is October 18th, but you can you can get the game today though and start playing. And whatever you do in this game carries over, so it's not like you can play the game now and then do stuff and then on October 18th you lose everything. So all your ranking, everything that you get carries o carries over to October 18th. So that's another cool thing. Uh, yeah, if you wait till October 8th, if you wait past September 30th, you're going to pay 40 So tell your mom, tell your dad, tell whoever you need to tell that you need 30 bucks because 30 is better than 40 Hello, Ariel. Can you play single player? Yes, you can. Um, that scary boy, absolutely. 30 bucks for this game? That is a steal. It is a bargain. Unbelievable price. You can't go wrong. 30 bucks. So hop along, little chomper. Just hopping along. Let me take this off. Ooh, ooh, get out of that water. Poison water. Eat somebody. I'm gonna eat this guy. If he wasn't dead. I'm gonna eat this guy. Nope. He's dead. Uh, Minty the candy cane. Yes, split screen. You can play split screen. Hello, TL. Yeah, you can play split screen. That's a big meal right there. That is a huge meal. All right, Mark, welcome to the Jam Squad. All right, Scary Boy, welcome to the Jam Squad. And Chuno, I don't know how to say your name, Chunoros? Chunoros? Something like Chu Norse? Is that like a play on Chuck Norse? Oh, get on there, Chomper. Oh, oh, we can go everywhere. Oh, wow, that's nice. Uh, play as an imp. Oh no, man, don't go in the cheese, whatever you do. 
Whatever you do, don't go in the cheese. Get your scientist. Oh, there's nothing better. Um, the game, the game is going to be really good. Um, the game will be really good. I haven't played as a peace shooter yet today, so let's do that. Yeah, the game for 30 bucks, you can't, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong for 30 bucks. I can't believe they're selling it for 30 bucks. That's crazy. I just, that's crazy. You know, you, you would have thought for sure the game would have been 60 bucks. But 30 bucks? Damn. Still jump a little bit with your peace shooter. But I don't think it's, I don't think you can jump like you used to on Garden Warfare though. <clears throat> um well that's all you wanna do a single player, you don't wanna play with nobody. Um because there are like the town center the town center would be a lot easier if you played with people. But you can play by yourself if you wanted to. But some things would be a lot easier if you could play with people. Hello, pro player. Ow, ow. You know what? Yeah, so you can, um, yeah, multiplayer is the, is the preferable way that you would want to play, but if you want to go it alone, you can, but you know what they say though, they do say that one is the loneliest number there could ever be. I think this one was called Goopy, um, Goopy something. Yeah, playing multiplayer will be good. Um... Uh, PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, the uh, PC, whatever they use for their store, that's how you can get it right now. The physical copy doesn't come out till October 18th. Oh, well, I'm sorry your head hurts. Hopefully, hopefully that feels better for you. But have a good rest of your night. Alright, thank you. Welcome to the Jam Squad, Leaper. Um, but, uh, um, you get rewarded if you buy the Founders Pack. So not only can you get it $10 cheaper, but you can get rewarded for doing it. So think about that. So buy it for 30 bucks today, digitally, and then you can get rewarded for it, for doing that. Uh, PlayStation for life, Cameron. Uh, we did reach the final objective before. Yeah, 
Um, there's different rewards per week. So, um, it, it's beneficial to get the game now. Look how the imp moves like that. That's cool. Oh, I'm a goat. See, his gravity grenade is, uh... Oh, crap, potato mines. Ooh. Uh, yeah, Gary, you knew they would, Gary. And they're, and they're not done polishing either. So there's still plenty of polish to do. Absolutely, if you buy it today, you have the game. You don't have to spend any more money. And everything carries over. So everything you do to everything you do in this game will carry over to October 18th. And you don't have to re-download it. You don't have to spend any more money. Um, you don't have to start over on the game. So and also, you get rewarded for doing it. You will get rewards in the game for getting the Founders Edition, and you're gonna you're gonna save ten bucks on top of that. Phantom Death. I will play as a mushroom once I die. How about that? Does that sound good? Let me get in this mech suit. Well, this is my first time getting in a mech suit. And there's no plants to shoot, so that's cool. Oh, there's a plant over here, maybe. Oh, there's a rose over here. up there. Oh, it's up there. That's why. Alright. Ooh, it's a little mushroom. Yeah, get that little guy. Oh, thank you, Phantom Death. Welcome to the Jam Squad. Alright. Oh, I just got revived, so you gotta wait on that. Uh... You can also change the design of the mech suit. Um, you will unlock different things for the mech. So you can change the way he looks. What's this person want to say? What do you want to say? Dance party. Alright, let's attack. Let's 
shoes off cinemas. And also with customizations, you can unlock uh, shoes. So like if your zombie only has one shoe on, you'll be able to get another shoe to put on his foot. Um, there's no variance as of today. I would expect there to be variance on October 18th, if not sooner. Or, or maybe that could be why the game's 30 bucks. Maybe the game's 30 bucks because they're going to start off with only 20 characters. And in my opinion, that would be a huge mistake. Uh, Quasar, yes, it is actually out. 30 bucks. Download it right now for 30 bucks. Oh, and also with the characters, so you got upgrades, and um, no matter what, you have seven skill points to use, and each of these abilities does something different, and you only have seven skill points. Some of these are worth four, some are worth three. Obviously, the ones that are that cost the most are the better ones. And so, like, these ones you can unlock through playing the game. Uh, yeah, Turf Taker, Turf Takeover is the only thing going on right now. Um, but there will be, um, I don't know what the best skill would be. I haven't, I haven't really looked at it. I haven't looked at it hard. So I really haven't, um, focused in on that. Oh, we can be this little player. Um, I don't have a favorite character right now, honestly. But I tell you what I do have. I'll be right back in one minute. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I had one minute or my PlayStation was going to explode. A little Phantom Death. A-A, A-N-A. -A. Um, I hope that all the characters, I don't think they're coming. 
I don't think the characters from Garden Warfare 2 are coming over. And because, like, we can't, like, they didn't ask us to transfer over characters, you know? So it doesn't say, like, hey, transfer over some characters. Hello, Luis Sanders. Yes, there's uh, no carryover, so um, that's not, it's not very exciting. It's not good. Hello, Party Rose. Um... No, it's not like you... No, you can't go to a quest board. Yeah, there's no quest board. There's no sticker shop. Um, there's no town hall. Um, there's no community challenge. There's no mystery portals. There's... Um, there is ops mode, there is your game modes, and uh, there's no sticker shop or sticker packs. Um, apparently this, apparently, I, I don't think they'll even have a beta now. Hello, Racer P. Racer B. Um, Spoder, are there skins? Yes, there are customizations. Uh, the customizations, you can actually get customizations that change the color of your character. So, like, um, like the, uh, Acorn. I got a customization to make my acorn in the oak tree purple. Dang, I tried to get that chomper, but I couldn't. I don't know. Uh, maybe there will be a public beta, but uh, you can get the game for 30 bucks today, though, instead of paying 40. Hello, Darth Vader. All right, who's shooting me from the back? Where is that? Um, nuz nuz. No variants as of now. Um, Carl Chang. I think for, um, I think for 30 bucks, that's a steal. Um, right now, when you get the Founders Pack, they have, they, they're not gonna, they don't have the, uh, Battle Arena open. Um, they don't have the, um, the two other um, they don't have that one place open so right now there's still things that aren't open but when the when everything is open and unlocked um, 30 bucks for this game will be a steal absolute steal
say a mushroom is like a mushroom is even worse than an M. Like you can like you can really not see them little dudes. No, four it's thirty bucks right now. Or you can buy it for forty bucks on October eighteenth. So that's your that's your uh if you wanna buy a physical copy, you're gonna have to spend forty. If you wanna get it digitally, you can spend thirty. Uh, go ahead, Charles. Go ahead. Uh, my favorite thing in this game would probably be the uh, that I know of. I, I haven't got to play the. I haven't got to play the battle arena. I haven't got. I haven't got to play everything because it's not unlocked. But from what I have got to play, uh, Town Center is. is uh, I like Town Center the most. From what I've got to play. Out of there. Uh, you don't have Windows Ten. Oh man, that's uh, can you get Windows Ten? Hopefully, you can get Windows Ten. Hey, if you die, it takes it takes you a nice amount of time to get back to the fight. Um, that's something that I think needs to be dealt with. Uh, Mr. Hot Puffs. They ruined the game, in your opinion. Well, when October 18th happens, they'll have everything unlocked. And then, um, then you can see everything they have, and maybe that will change your mind, or maybe it won't. But if they, if they don't bring on more characters, though, that will be, uh... You know, that will be very bad. But the game is 30 bucks, though. Get the game for 30 bucks. Oh, get away from me, mushroom. Well, people are still playing Garden Warfare 2 if they didn't have 30 bucks. You know? If you don't have 30 bucks, you'll be playing Garden Warfare 2. Hello, Griffin. Yeah, it's good. For 30 bucks, this is a steal. You will, like, for 30 bucks for this game, that is a absolute steal. You should be, I should be arrested. I wouldn't be surprised if the police come to my house and say you stole this game for 30 bucks it's an absolute steal um a little fire wolf no it's uh it's not a, uh, it, it's the Founder's Edition, so, I mean, you can think of it, uh, you can think of it as a beta if you want to, um, but things will be improved, though. So, right now, you play the game, 
And then you can go to a private Discord and you can share your opinions on there or you can share your opinions on their message forms. And then they'll see what people are saying. Um, but it's better to get the game for 30 bucks than it is to get it for 40. Oh my gosh, dude. The mushroom is wow. The mushroom is something else. Uh, favorite character. Um. Might be like the mushroom and acorn. And least favorite would be, um, I don't even know who the least favorite would be. Just tell him that he's going to save 10 bucks. Say, Dad, you can spend 30 bucks now, or you can spend, uh, oh, got that battery. Whatever that was for, I got it. Christmas come say Christmas is well you know your dad your dad will enjoy saving money uh, no there's no transferring any stuff over in this game so because um, the game like you know how in Garden Warfare 2 how you could you know, do your little abilities where you got reload and like ammo. Well, that's not like that in this game. And um, and the variants, they're not in this game as of right now, at least. And um, the fact that you couldn't transfer um, doesn't look like you'll be able to uh, do that. Um, how do you turn off voice at the start? All right, so if you go to if you go to start if you hit options and then you go to friends and then what you can do is um, You can just mute people If you wanted to you Go go like when you're playing on a um, like if you're in like the uh, gathering area, you can just mute everybody. Yeah, the Garden Warfare 2 things they do have would be some of the familiar characters. Then they got Ops mode, so you can play Garden, Graveyard Ops. And then they still have it where you rank up your character the same way. So you still rank up your character the same way. Like rank it up to five. I mean 10 and then you can proceed your character so the way you rank up is still the same um, it's the full game isn't released yet that will happen as time goes right now it's just turf takeover the town center um, you can do a quest in garden ops
All right, so we got to get these batteries or stop the batteries either way. I think we got to stop the batteries. another person be uh, the space coaster they actually could form up with me and we could be a big spaceship like this one right here if they would do it let me see come here little spaceship Is that little there? I don't know why they're not letting us all oh, link up. Maybe because I'm not in my uh, form. Here we go. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what you do, though. I'll tell you what you do. Get on Twitter. Get on the, get on Twitter. Get on the message forms. Get on, uh, and let them know that you want, that you want variants, that you want fire, ice, and toxic. And, and the more people that say that, then more likely it will happen. So the worst thing you can do is to not say anything. So definitely go on there, go on Twitter, go on Reddit, go on everywhere you can go and let them know that you want variants. Yeah, so, so, well, you gotta look at the big picture, the big picture, right? The big picture is how long do you want this game to be played for? You know, like how long do you want people to play your game? Do you want people to play your game for six months? Well, only have 20 characters and people will leave after about six months. So if you want people to play your game for a year, two, three years, then you're gonna need new characters to play with. And I and they have to do that. I mean, they can't be that crazy. Uh, there's the new characters are they're whatever, you know. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go back and show you a little bit real quick. See if I can get a legendary hat. You know, I haven't ate. I haven't ate all day. I'm, I'm getting hungry. I'm going to have to go get something to eat. Hello, Kai. Yep, zombie on roller skates. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. All right, let's see if I can get a legendary. So if you stand on this thing, see, that's where Rux lives. No sticker shop, no sticker packs, but that's where you get your stuff from, Mr. Reward Otron. Promote your character there. You can rank up your character there if you want to spend coins. Victory slabs are what people see when you when you vanquish them. Penny will take you to the town center. Little Steamy's not available. And there's only one game mode, and that's Turf Takeover available right now. So you come here, it's 30,000 coins. Congratulations, Deadly Ghost. All right, so I get that. And now I have a chance to get something legendary. It could happen. 
Alright, I think I gotta get one more. Nope, I got no more coins. And you can see what other people get too. <clears throat> see how they got a shoe? So that's pretty cool. You can see what other people get. Oh, they got a space coaster. That's cool. Let's see what you get. Uh, you custom. I'll show you how to customize. Here's Rux. <clears throat> so what Rux does... Check back later. So you got to come back later. Whenever that is. But to change your... To customize... You hit your options, and then you can go to respawn. And then you see you hit square. Well, let's go to somebody with customizations. So square, and then you click on the particular place you want, so the head. And then you click on what you want. And then this one right here is a color one. So like, let me show you. So see, I, so I can make that. This is how it regularly looks. But now I can make it purple because I got a customization. So I'll click an X on that. And then these are the upgrades. So um, you have skills. You can read the skills over and equip those. But that's how you do that. And um, also, you have um, your L3 button will show you what this acorn can do. And then you hit R1 to see the oak abilities. So that's what the oak can do. So you can check that out. And then, um, so yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's what you do. So there's different, uh, like I said, there's different things for different people. And then the acorn, um, he can jump on top of another, uh, oak tree. And I think like four or five, there's like four or five people that can do this. So I, so you could have like four, four or five other people on top of him shooting. And then anytime you want to get off of them, get off of them. And uh, this is the town center. That's, But you don't want to play that by yourself. It's better to play that with friends for sure. And this guy, he's, he's closed right now. So that would take us to somewhere cool, but we can't go yet. A little nightshade. Dang, this, night, this dude's even smaller than him. Take those coins. All right, and um, yeah, so, well, I'll tell you what, though. I am going to go eat, and I will be streaming later tonight, probably 7 o'clock Central Time. 7 o'clock tonight Central Time, something like that. So I'm the Peanut Butter Ninja. You guys are the Jam Squad. Thank you, as always. And I will be back later tonight. But you know what time it is. That's right. It's time to jam out.